our second presentation this afternoon. We are going back online with our speakers and we have two speakers. They'll be sharing the presentation and this is Suzanne and Eva. Uh, so welcome and thank you for, for waiting with us. Um, Suzanne and Eva work with the Otter Centrum, which was set up in the 1970s in Lower Saxony. And it was uh, at that stage set up to uh, promote the conservation of the otter, which was undergoing um, a decline at that stage, but is now thankfully recovered. But they work on other mustelids. And this afternoon, they're going to share their research with us on our species related to the pine marten. In this case, it's the stone marten, which we, we don't have in Ireland. But um, it seems that some of the behavior of the stone marten may have been uh, passed on to our pine martens here. So we're looking forward to their presentation to see if we can learn from them uh, in advance. So welcome, and I'll hand you over. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, we are yeah, pleased that you invited us. Um, my name is Eva, and I'm here with my colleague Suzanne. We are, as you already heard from uh, this nonprofit organization in Lower Saxony. And uh, while I'm working in more in administration as a biologist, Suzanne is working with the animals and uh, mainly here in Germany with the uh, stone marten, because well, our, your pine marten is our stone marten. Yeah, it's uh, nearly the same, I would say, problem. Um, so you can compare this. First of all, um, I'd like to say for both of us, um, yeah, it's quite unusual to talk English. So please, if you have questions afterwards, um, uh, speak slowly or put it in the chat and then uh, we can um, ask the Google Translator. That's uh, then easier for us. Um, well, yes, we work for this uh, nonprofit organization, um, which um, started with the Eurasian otter, which was nearly extinct in Germany. But uh, in our, it's like a small zoo or wildlife park called Otter Center. We also have um, uh, other mustelids like uh, stone marten, pine marten, uh, European polecat, for example. And um, we have one department where Suzanne uh, works at and what's under her control, that's the Martin Research. And uh, there we uh, yeah, concentrate on work with Stone Martin. And uh, she, uh, Suzanne, will get uh, the presentation and show you some things out of her work. And uh, you know, in our work with Stone Martin, we'll try to uh, give advice to affected um, people who are um, you know, disturbed by these animals. Um, Suzanne also gets, for example, automobile parts from industry to test them with our resident stone martens in the, in the Otter Center. And so we try to mediate between, uh, well, nature protection, animal welfare, and uh, human interests. And uh, yeah, with this, I will share my screen and Suzanne will start with a presentation about the stone marten. Hello, my name is Suzanne and I'm also look, uh, work at the Otto Centrum as a, a research assistant. I'm responsible for marten research and work mainly with stone martens. Stone martens are a big problem in Germany because they climb. Okay, I create a small overview for this presentation. Um, we start with a short introduction about the morphological differences between stone marten and pine marten. Afterwards, I would like to introduce you the conflicts between stone marten and um, humans in Germany. Furthermore, I would like to show you the regulation um, on the closed season hunting and trapping. And finally, I will discuss how we in Germany deal with the problems of the stone martens. Here I will explain our solution to the problem in calf and then in hoses. Um, okay, well. 
Um, Pine Martin and Stone Martin um, had a differ for laymen. Usually the animals are only seen briefly before they disappear into the bushes again at dusk. On closer inception, um, however, the differences become clear. The color of the animals um, throat through um, is the biggest difference between the two species. Um, the stone martens fur is bright white, whereas the pine martens fur is yellow. The head of the stone marten is float and broad um, with round eyes. The pine marten has um, razor narrow and pointed head um, with small eyes. The nose of the small marten is pink, the pine marten nose is brown, and the ears of the stone marten are small and stand further apart on the head. The pine marten, on the other hand, has razor long ears and stands closer together than those of the stone marten. The coat of the stone marten is gray, the under coat shines through white. The pine marten coat, on the other hand, is only formally brown. Well, we um, in Germany. In, in, um, in Germany, um, there are many conflicts with stone martens. Conflicts occur um, when the animals use the roof as a house, um, as a sleeping place, or to raise their youngs, or when they visit the car. Typical signs for the um, uh, presence of a stone marten are loud noises from the roof, food leftovers, and excrements in the attic as well as destroyed isolutions on the roof and the isolation uh, met under the bonnet and bitten cables and cuffs in the car. Stone Martin uh, is subject to a special close season. The close season is a period during which there is no hunting season. During this time, hunting of wild animals is forbidden by law. Um, the close, yeah, what was it? Okay. During um, the close season from the 1st March um, to 15 October, the stone martens um, may neither um, to uh, be trapped um, nor, nor hunt, not hunted. Um, the marten may only be cased um, away by scaring away. Um, at the Unter Center, we often advise about Martin to private person. We are often asked about traps or wherever um, we can come and catch the Martin. The general, the general rule is trapping or killing is not available. An occupied territory is quickly reminded um, by another animal and the hiding place are founded by olfactory traces. Um, when captured and relocated, the animal find their way back even over long distances. If they don't, found, uh, don't find the way, um, a regulated action often ends with that. In, uh, if the animals are still um, to be rec uh, regulated, relocated, the following points must be taken uh, into account to make sure that the hunting and trapping methods are currently carried out. The men, animals are subject to hunting rights and may only be hunted by person out to reside, uh, out to, reside to expensive hunting rights. In some areas, owners may also hunt and uh, set traps, but only with a valid, a valid Bait um, trapping license. However, um, poisoned bait is absolutely forbidden. Generally applies, a private person should connect the uh, hunter in the cage and uh, see advice. In our advice, we are often asked about defense methods in the car. Uh, Ignition cables, pools and horses, and low voltage cables are most at risk. Um, however, control with a wide defense tree of uh, methods have no provide effective. 
car drivers are very creative about this. The ideas from repelling rage from lavender to animal hair. In rare cases, a mesh, um, a wire mesh offense helps to repel sensitive marten under the car. Enclosed marten reminds mostly un, um, unimpressed in our own trails. And different under uh, different ultrasound system against the storm martens um, are also for sale. Ultrasound is supposed to have a scared effect by, uh, but again, in our own trails, uh, the um, defense only scared, uh, uh, showed a scared effect on a few animals. One of our animals even slept on it. Okay, the next one. Um, electric shock system um, offer good protection. However, these um, are usually expensive and must be installed by a specialized technician. High voltage panels um, are placed in the motor room so that um, the incoming Martin gets a small electric shock. This, uh, this is means um, to scare the animals, not to kill it. Um, the cheapest and quickest, quickest, quickest um, um, protection is me uh, mechanical protection. Hard plastic sleeves from the hardware store are placed around the um, response exposed parts with a little menu skill. Um, home owners, home owners um, are you? are also usually um, very creative. Um, Urinel um, deodorized blocks, lavender, garlic, animal hair, but also radios are supposed to provide relief and scare the animal away. However, most methods are, um, are a smell or ultrasound systems only have a short effect. Um, the most um, methods have failed because the animals have become attached to them and should therefore only be considered uh, as a stop gag solution. The animals are scared of, uh, of for a while, but then get used to the new situation and come back. However, the, begin, uh, the beginning scaring effect can be used to um, secure for the roof to prevent um, further invasion. Okay. Um, a part of our Martin device, uh, we advise homeowners with a stone Martin on the roof um, to cut back any nearby climbing structures, um, such as trees and bushes, bushes it's, if possible. Branches closer than two meters to the hoses or roof should also be cut back. Metal collars or electric fences are most effective. These can help uh, protect uh, a tree that is too close to the hose um, from being climbed. Ideally, these barriers are not passed by the animal. You can see one of these structures on picture one. This is this one. Um, faulty points on the roof that cannot be um, secured can be uh, also can be protected with an electric fence, um, as shown in picture two. Mm. If the hose wall is rough enough, the animal can um, easily climb it. It can be protected with plexiglass sleepers. This is shown on the third picture. Um, in addition, um, we advise fixing house roof tails, uh, um, tiles and end plates. Um, then entering the roof, the stone marten only needs um, holes from four times four centimeter with a correspondence to 1.5 inches in, uh, in to, get, um, to get into the roof, sorry. Um, we also advise keeping food places such as pet, uh, uh, pet food or compost helps um, as far away from the house as possible or eliminating 
them completely. However, all inclusing um, steps can only be taken once it has um, have, has been uh, verified that the animal is not longer in the attic. Otherwise, uh, otherwise there is a risk to trapping the animal in the room. When it tries to leave his pres prison, it will either destroy more or die. Um, special can should be taken from um, February to July. Um, during this time, um, there may also be uh, a female or young under the roof. Thank you for your attention. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your experiences. Um, some of them are very similar to ours, although I don't know if anyone has yet tried lavender and garlic <laughs> to deter pine martens, but um, it does show that we all need to be creative and um, open, to, open to dealing with each situation and to keep trying. So if there are any questions, from the floor that we might be able to put to you and, and don't worry if if you don't quite understand we will be able to relate to them relate them to you afterwards and and get follow-up answers anyone no okay anything online Ruth? Uh, we don't have questions online but but from our point of view with our work, thank you very much. Yeah. I'll be stocking up on toilet blocks and lavender and God. all of those <laughs> items to see if they work in the field. But it's it's really interesting to see that that you have you know, mm -hmm. had to resort to electrified wiring, um, which has, yeah. has been what we found the most effective also. So be, even though they're both different species, it's really interesting to see how much overlap there is. Mm, and you. we'll hopefully keep in touch with you and, and keep sharing ideas and experiments as well. And thank you very much for contributing this afternoon and for holding on to, to connect with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.